Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have an 18 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. As you can see, I've put down a layer of um, artist, uh, uh, I'm sorry, um, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White and I've added Lick Rick Primary Yellow to it about 50 50 to make a very nice uh, pretty yellow color light yellow color and I'm going to do a dustpan pour a waterfall dustpan uh, pour I bought this new dustpan and it's it's on the bigger side so I needed a bigger canvas and let's go over my paints I'm just going back to the basics today no metallics no shiny no bling so I'm using the Blick Rick Violet I'm using Blick Rick Primary Blue. I'm using the Blick Rick uh, Primary Yellow. I'm using Artist Loft um, Emerald Green. And I'm using the Artist Loft Orange. And I believe that's it. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. I have one more here. Creative Inspirations Permanent Red. <clears throat> That's my last color. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800 added to all the paints. And I would say I add about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. I found this combination to just be wonderful and I, I think I'm going to pretty much stick with it. No silicone is added today. So what I'm planning to do is just fill my uh, dustpan up with the colors. And then I'm going to um, just tilt the painting a little bit. And then let, the, let it run down. Let the dustpan colors run down the canvas here. So I'm going to get started just filling my dustpan. No particular order. Just want to mix the colors up really well. And hopefully you can see me doing this. going to be a bright a bright painting I did not go over consistency of my paints but it didn't even leave a, a really leave a trace when I mixed them I wanted to leave them a little bit on the thinner side here today and I'm going to be using the artist love flow acrylic white also And I'm going to add some of the green again. Just want to make sure that I have enough paint. I'm trying to tip it back here a little bit so I don't lose some of the paint. Some of the blue. Some of the purple. Some of the red and orange and then I think that that will be good. I need to add more paint later. I certainly can do that. Okay. So I'm just going to move my paints out of the way here. And I'm going to try and just bring that right down to the edge here before I get started. And then tip, tip of my canvas here. 
and just let some of that paint run down. Try and get all the canvas at the top covered here. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here a minute. And then I will start the tipping. The reason I put down that light coat of the yellow is to help the paint move. This is a very, very easy painting to do. Okay, I'm going to put it down and just take a look at it here. Check my sides, my corners. Just make sure that they're covered. And I do have a little bit of paint left here. So what I think I'll do is um, get my little spatula and I think I'm going to just add a little bit of paint in here and then do a little more tipping. Just to use up all this paint. Some very pretty colors left on this dust pan. Okay. So I'm going to do some more tipping here. And I'll tip side to side a little bit. Some very pretty colors going on here today. Okay, I'm just going to take another look here. and get my sides. And I'm going to do a torch. Okay, I think I have something in here I'm going to get out. Yep. Okay. 
clean off the bottom here. Another nice thing about having a base coat on your painting is if part of your the sides of your painting do not get, get covered, you already have a color on them. You have your base coat color. Okay. I'm going to take another look at it here. I really, really like this painting. It's just very uh, colorful and vibrant. And uh, and I'm going to get you down for a close-up. I'll tell you the parts that I really like. Again, 18 by 20 gallery-wrapped canvas. I can tell you the color I really love in this painting is that red. Okay. Here is the upper left-hand corner. As you can tell today, I didn't have to do a lot of tipping. It just it looks looked so nice so quickly. And uh, I like the purple and the red together. Very pretty. And we're coming on down to the lower, the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. Very pretty in here. Probably one of my favorite spots with all the purple and the red, the green. So nice. It's very nice in here too. Very busy in here. And I'm gonna go all the way over now to the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna go down now. Little bit of that orange popping up there. That's pretty. And here's some muted colors, which is also nice. It's just a little bit different. Very pretty in there. That's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe also. When you ring the bell and choose all, that'll let you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.